Good morning, we're here in Port Royal and uh, we are at 10 Century Oak. I'm standing on Century Oak and this truck goes down, you probably can't see the stop sign down there, but where those two trees are just down in the middle there, you walk right down there, you cross over uh, South Port Royal Drive, take a, a little bit of a left-hand turn and head right down to the beach. Uh, so walking distance to the beach is fantastic. The home is absolutely lovely from the outside. Just a really beautiful street presence here. It's on the corner of Century Oak and Scarborough Head. You can head down Scarborough Head around the bend and uh, and ride your bike over to the uh, beach club or beach house. And as you can see on the side here, you have some nice, nice space off to the side. Beautifully uh, finished home with hardy plank siding, nice touches of, of brick going up the front steps, the wood ceiling that you'll see out here on the front porch, as well as in various other places around the house. And lovely front door. Now that we're up here, you can see the pretty windows. Really tons of outdoor space along this wraparound porch. And pretty views of the neighborhood. Gorgeous magnolia tree right here. The crepe myrtles in the front yard. Very nicely landscaped and plenty of, of uh, privacy between you and the next home. As we come in the front door, we come into hard, real hardwood floors. Very, good, very nice hardwood floors. Uh, they're set up on an angle here. The moldings and you can see the crown moldings up here and baseboards are all high quality. Really nice finishes in here. Immediately to the right we have uh, st uh, storage and nice bit front bedroom. 10 foot ceilings. guest bath with a walk-in shower and I changed the vanity top perhaps but really this this room is is nicely laid laid out I might do the bed on this wall versus that wall but that's just my personal opinion good size closet in here and again nice nice storage closet out here to the left of the front door you have a, a powder room which is always convenient to not have it right in the middle of the living space. And then this beautiful dining room that's in the front of the home. I'm gonna take us in the other, other direction now. So coming back to the front door as we come in, we have tall ceilings in here, really high ceilings, just a lot of volume in this room, beautiful cabinets on, on either side of the gas fireplace. If that space, that it looks plenty big to me, but if you wanted to open it up, you probably could have this modified just a little bit to uh, have, have room for an even bigger TV in here. But I think there's probably plenty of space and really plenty of space in here for to, to lay out a very fantastic, comfortable uh, family room living room and the openness of this house is great. You have casual dining here, a really nice kitchen with bar stool seating. Could you have this modified and bring it down to one level? Certainly, but um, I, I think it lays out nicely just the way it is with your, your Viking stove, a little bit of contrast with the, with the black on the kitchen island. Hides your dirty dishes with that elevated, but again, you could raise it, raise it up, and just a ton of cabinets in here, with drawer, you know, a nice combination of drawers and doors. This must be for space for a microwave. That's the only thing that you don't have in here built in is is a microwave because you have this uh, fan hood. Have a, a little area for a butler pantry, I'd, I'd build something in here 
they probably wanted to keep this open for this piece of furniture, um, but I'd build a nice butler pantry in here. You have a regular pantry right here, and then this goes into your into your dining room that we saw and is accessed by this, um, there we go, uh, by, by this hideaway door. So this kind of covers the, the first floor and additionally you have your laundry here with just a ton of cabinet. Oh, I see, they put their the microwave in here sort of and that's the thing you could make this a really kind of neat back kitchen if you wanted to um, and and keep some of your bigger appliances and things back back in here there's plen plenty of space for that they have an extra refrigerator in here so that could lay out nicely let's head upstairs before we go outside beautiful staircase all wood Again, you can see those nice baseboards. This is pretty with the curved. And really great size bedroom up here. Really spacious. With a nice closet, walk-in closet. A nice high vanity in here. Again, I'd probably this is a Corian. I'd probably replace the countertops, but everything else is in nice shape from the shower to the vanities. The carpets, if, if you wanted to keep carpets up here, uh, you certainly could. And, and they're all in nice condition. This is another lovely room. And this has a shower tub combo. Nice vanities. You could, again, dress up the mirrors a little bit with uh, some moldings around them. But really, it's it, everything's great. Good to go. So this is the upstairs. It's not a huge upstairs, um, but the bedrooms are plenty big for guests. You don't want them too big. They'll never leave. And pretty views out the back. I mean, you have a lot of green coming in here. Now this is really fun out here. So we come out, out here to head towards the garage, but this screen porch is fantastic. It is so pretty with a fire, fireplace over here. And th I, this is this is really a fantastic screen porch. You're set up for to have a TV out here if you wanted to. And garage, we'll peek down into the garage quick. Nice size garage. It's not huge, but it's a good size. You have plenty of room for storage back along this back wall. I'm in love with this room and, and this back porch is, is fantastic as well. We'll go out there in just a moment. But here we come up here and you have a phenomenal room up here. This is a, a huge bonus room either as a bedroom, a game room, gaming room, a projection room, whatever, whatever you might want to use, use it for up here. It's really fantastic space with, with some nice views. Carpet again is in great shape. If you move that, you'd even have more light coming in here. There's a good amount of light coming in, but that would really uh, help. And then over here, you have, oh, set to find the lights, you have another bath with a nice shower, same vanity that's in the main house, tile floors. So this is, this is really, you could do 
you could do a lot with this space up here. Now, last but not least, let's go out onto this fabulous porch, back porch. You have the wood ceilings. This comes off of the owner's bedroom, which we haven't even been in yet. And then you have a nice area down here. It's hardscape, um, but it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice back here very exposed to the to the sun um i might as much as i hate to say it i might have some of this torn up maybe and maybe keep a little area around here and put make this all grass you should be able to grow grass really easily here um and i think that might kind of complete things it's not a, a view to die for but it it is not a bad view in terms of of being tucked in the street, this street ends right here. There's a house over there. And of course this home, but you have gorgeous trees back here. And uh, it's, it's just, it's kind of nice. I like it. So let's go back inside and have a look at the owner's bedroom. Come back through the kitchen. Past this night, really love these uh, cabinets. And into the owner's retreat. Where you have nice, really nice light, big room, plenty of room for, for dressers and you open up this view and have you'll see that greenery coming in and then, then a, a nice bathroom set up soaking tub with with jets private commode his and her closets in here or hers and hers and then the shower is tucked in back here behind the entry door. So this is the walk-in shower. So you could move right in here, not have to do anything. The quality of construction really is uh, stands out to me. And uh, it's, a, it's a really nice, solid home. So I hope this helps, and I will talk to you soon.